rump steaks we're having. Hi guys! <laughs> Look who's back! She's back. Ah. back! Well it looks like you'll be having leaves. <laughs> Right, come on, try this. Well, there's a lot of mouths to feed tonight. Which is here. Um, it was very, very expensive. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, it was... He can't help himself. It was sunny, and then it started slashing it down, and the forecast shows that it's going to be sunny from 10 o'clock onwards. So much 20 past 10 now. Uh, it's going to be sunny until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. We may have some special guests coming today as well, so you'll have to keep watching, Lord, to find out who. So the first thing we're doing is we're tidying the lodge because we have visitors coming. Uh, we've heard nothing from Taylor. He did move this morning when he got took out of the uh, the lockup in the garage, moved into the yard. That was about half past seven this morning. So fingers crossed the, the holes that we need to get her sorted can be fitted today and then he just needs to take her on a ride and then we're done. Potentially may have to regas the aircon system and fix any leaks which may have occurred as part of dismantling the engine. Anyway, that's that's trivial. I'm going to go in the hot tub, I've already booked it. I'm going to go in at 11 o'clock. I'm just waiting for Lee to get dressed. He's putting clothes away and clearing the rooms out um, for our guests. And then the... What else have we got to do today? Oh yeah, we're going to make the uh, hummus, avocado, sweet potato, steak salad again. Um, because it was so nice when we had it last week and those guys that are coming haven't tried it. We're also going to make them the sweet corn, the Epcot sweet corn. I'm going to get some more Parmesan and make that for them because they've probably not tried that either. Um, I need to stock up on my spices because I'm using quite a lot of them at the minute. So loads of smoked paprika, more garlic salt, um, other bits and bats that I've run out of. And then we don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring. Uh, I have, um, first of all, I want to thank everybody in the comments um, on the video that uh, mentioned taking the metal dust caps off the alloys. Um, about four people have mentioned it and our friend Colin also mentioned it as well. And when we had the alloys fitted, the garage did say something about silver caps, but it didn't really make sense. So I didn't want to question it because I was just wanting to get out of there. But it seems that if you put metal caps on metal valves, after, after a certain amount of time, they seize up and you can never get them off. So I've ordered some black caps, some plastic black caps from Amazon, so they should be here today. So as soon as we get Taylor back, those metal chrome caps are coming off and I'm going to put the black plastic ones on just so it matches in with the tie, really. I think silver and black just don't look particularly good together. So there we go. So thank you for everybody that commented and um, offering that bit of advice. Keep the comments coming. We love reading all your comments and um, let's get the day started. Beautiful morning so far. It has been raining, but uh, it's very nice at the moment. Just going to walk around to the hot tub, get some steps in. And uh, the family are going to be on their way shortly. Are you ready? Where's your headphones? I've no idea. Always loses things. And he always thinks that I've put them somewhere. I don't touch your things. Alright. Where were they? Where you left them. Yeah, right. Where were they? In my bedside cabinet. Mm. All my daffodils. Oh no, apart from that one. Because all my daffodils are flowering. But apart from that one. And that one, that's why look, it's got the buds on it, but it's just not in the sun. Yeah, maybe. That one's not flowering either. Oh no, that one's not neither. They look like they're dying. Yeah, I know them ones up front. And it's been raining, so they've had water. Yeah, but I think uh, well, maybe you've not planted I mean they're definitely dying. Hmm. Well I've planted them very deep. Maybe it's like Maybe, this Maybe just it's a shock well, of moving soils. Look at that one. I know. Do we have enough left? Me? Do we have enough left? Have what? Cheese. No. Ooh. We're going to have some cheese Somebody's on toast. Been it. Yeah, you are, not me. Oh, not me. Right, well, I'll have extra because you scoffed it all. Eh, get lost. It's you that's been scoffing it. You were first to want it back. Right, that cheese on toast was delicious. I actually spread my mite on it as well after it was cooked. Oh my god, it was so nice and so salty. It was gone in one bite. It was because it was only we didn't have enough for um, a, a slice of toast each. We had to have like a quarter Ooh. just to get the cheese. You get some more bread. Um, we're off to Lidl now to buy everything for the uh, steak strip salad with avocado and hummus um, that we're going to make. Um, Brandy don't like hummus or avocado. We even said the bite brenda's coming. Oh. Bye, Brenda's coming! <laughs> oh. So Bye, Brenda's coming with his mum and dad. They're about 20 minutes away. We're going to be at least another hour. Uh, still no call from Taylor. I'm just giving it up as a bad job now. I'll just go when they when they phone. Um, but we're heading to, um, like I said, Lidl. We may get the call with it. You never know. But they don't like what we're cooking. Well, Bye, Brenda doesn't. Too fancy. She don't like. Um, she doesn't like um, avocado. 
Oh, and she's never, tr she's never tried guacamole, so she don't know whether she likes it or not. So, um, or hummus. She can try it when she comes, but we'll get her alternative just to get like beetroot. Potato salad. Potato salad. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're going to make some Epcot, Epcot swing corn again. Ep yeah. I mean, she might not like parmesan. Tough. Then she'll have to just chuff and starve. Delicate baby spinach for us all. That'll be enough there. Cherry tomatoes now. Yeah. Get Batty Brenda a bit of um, potato salad. Oh, that's a big one. Rump steaks we're having. There's a bit of fat on them. Uh, well, what do you think? What's about the other one? Well, that's a bit fat. What about that? fillet steaks? Fillet? What fillet. Think? What do you think it is? For the Angus Steakhouse? Well, they yeah, but they look nice, them. Yeah, they also look pricey as well. Look at the size of them. Like a 50 pence coin. Ew, Lidl's got some uh, no. things. No. No, that's no good for your. Uh, oh, that'll be alright. No, because it's like a Wendy house. I've got other stuff for you. Oh, Ooh, perfect. These are alright. $29.99. For your uh, yeah. herb garden. Perfect. Well, rabbits won't get it. But where would we put that? Uh, and it doesn't match up, does it? Well, rabbits definitely won't get that. Where would we stick it? Well, Front, maybe. We need to give it some thought, really, if we're going to get one, don't we? You do that. How very posh. We're getting coconut oil toilet paper. We've moved up in the world. Your crack's going to smell like a bounty bar. Yeah. £62 later. Um, it is expensive because we've got all those steaks and we are for, sort of feeding for six um, for six people tonight. Plus we've got a lot of stuff that we needed for the cupboards, crisps, drinks, that kind of thing. Um, sweet corn that we're going to have kind of for snacks. So uh, all in all, if we'd have gone to Tesco, it'd probably been double that. Right, we're back. I got these um, high protein chocolate um, puddings. They're new and some vanilla ones. And I got um, some fresh stuff in the fridge. Lidl's version of... Um, Philip, what do you call them? Dairy Lee Dippers. Can you hear that voice? Yeah, she's here. She's here. We've got some, um, what do you call it? Zero them corns tonight, Mum, as well. Oh, nice. With like Parmesan them. and. Um, um, Parmesan. Parmesan and what? Parmesan. Paprika. Yeah, nice. And um, there we go. Hi, guys. <laughs> Look who's back. She's back. I'm back. I'm back. Last October, <laughs> since last time you were here. We've got you some potato salad instead of uh, hummus. Is that okay? Yes. Do you like potato salad? Potato salad. No, you don't like that either? No, don't like that either. <laughs> well, it looks like you'll be having leaves for tea. <laughs> that doesn't do me fine. <laughs> the morning. Yeah? The morning. Because they haven't got a mirror. I've just said any mirrors put in here, <laughs> their bloody faces will crack them. And that's why I bring my own. <laughs> Is it shattered? Shattered, so cracked. We're just, we're just showing them the own suite they've got now as well. Yeah. yeah. That's that's for emergency use we're, only. They've been upgraded to en suite then. Yeah. 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 And this this is your toilet roll. And if you get desperate, there's dust sheets. Yeah. Right, we're going to just take them out for a drink. Um, I would say take them out for some lunch, but they already called for a, uh, a fish butty the moment they got over here. Um, so they had that while we were up at uh, Lidl. Uh, so we'll take them out for a little drink, maybe a little snack. Oh, packet of crisps or something. Uh, well, we'll stop serving food where we're going, so. Yeah, or just packet of crisps or something. And um, then when we get back, Nick and a helper, I don't know who will be helping. I do, who, I know. Who, who's you? helping? You? Um, we're going to make the, the steak avocado. Steak strip salad. Stri steak strip salad with avocado, sweet potato, and hummus. With fresh roasted garlic. And we've got flatbreads as well, and we've got corn on the cobs as well. It's going to be a right feast. Um, unfortunately, Auntie Brenda doesn't like anything that we bought. But How much? Watch it eat then. Hers will be steak strip salad with sweet potato and and lettuce, lettuce and tomatoes. Amazon parcel replacement hood caps to get rid of those metal ones before yeah. they stick. Plastic ones. <laughs> right, come on, try this. She says she doesn't like it, but she's never actually tried it. Right, let me get so you what, a little spoon. Yeah, but the thing is, though, I'll be trying that and it'll be red hot like it was in the, hot. that. Hummus is, not, hummus is not hot. So, what sort is it, though? Red pepper hummus. There's too much on there. Trust eh? me, you'll like it. I, t I swear to God, you will like that. It's what sort? Red pepper. 
Not hot pepper, red pepper. It's almost sweet. It's not hot, <laughs> I swear. Can you even taste that? Don't forget it's mixed in your salad. What you bit? Give it. That's it. There you go. See, that's nice. What, 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 do, what do you put that on? Crackers in there. Well, you can have it on crackers. You can have it on um, carrot sticks, carrot sticks yeah. nachos, anything. It's yeah, well, it's, it's chickpeas, isn't it? Chickpeas, garlic, a bit of sugar, and some red pepper. You can get it in different flavors. The plain one's rubbish. Well, you won't convince me to buy it. But you'll eat it. I might try it. Right then, fine. Right, right that's easy. That's what. That's one thing. What else we got it to try? Avocado. All oh, right. Oh, no, I don't. I'll just put that on. You can fish it off. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can fish that off. I'll fish that off. All right. Yeah. And uh, come and try this one. She don't like these either. She's never had them, which means she don't like them. Here, Brenda, come and try some dried tomato. Hey, and I like tomatoes, but I've never. Sun dried tomatoes. I think these have got like um, cheese and herbs in actually. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Try one of them. Yeah, the plain Jane. What's your sister, Brenda? <laughs> Am I a guinea pig here? I want to make sure you I, like everything. Just, I, just you can be thanking me for broadening your palate here. <laughs> it's just a tomato. You don't have to look at it like it's crawled out of a out, out of a, <laughs> a, a mound. It's too much that. It's a tomato. <laughs> Get resting. <laughs> That. Right, get the rest of them, that's it. You, now you like some dried tomatoes. That's two out of three so far. Right, what's happening? Right, and we're gonna peel these. She's never tried it, so. Avocado. I'm gonna put it on, and if she don't want it, she can just pull it to one side. Yeah. Oh, so, don't forget these and all. I'll leave that to you. The garlic breads. So at the minute, the um, sweet potato chips are cooking. Sweet potatoes are in, then salads. Then do the, um, the steak. Yeah. Oh, and then, um, it's almost ready then, after yep. that. Right, what have we got in here? So Marmite butter. Yeah. Just baste them all. There's going to be a lot of steaks here. Well, there's a lot of mouths to feed tonight. Do you think that'd be enough for six people or slithered up with all the salad and the garlic bread? Mm. I think it will be one. Probably, it. yeah. Are they ready? Mm. Yep, that just needs to rest. They're a little bit pink in the middle, but that's just next more tender. Um, five minutes to rest, get all the juices out, slice them up. One for each plate, and um, then we're ready to serve. And then she can say, don't like this, don't like that, don't like this. Right, time to eat. It looks delicious. To let us know what you don't like afterwards. <laughs> looks very nice. It does. Not a fan. <laughs> yes, it was very nice. What have I done? Mm. You've just, what, you've just shoved to one side? <laughs> all avocado? Avocado and a bit of that hummus. It was all right, Nick. It was all right, no. The steaks aren't the best. I've had, be I've had better steaks, the, the little steaks. What did you think to the little steaks, Lee? Not as good as Tesco. No, they're not at all. Oh, yeah, they're it must have been our send at cow because it won't particularly. Quite a bit of. Um, what sort of steak were that then? Medallions. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, I, I would have gone, gone for like rump or ribeye, but they were like. <laughs> and I knew you were coming, so I just got cheap shit. Didn't want to say, you're, lucky, you're, you're lucky you've not got bleeding burgers. Didn't want to spoil it. No, that were very nice and, you know, I've enjoyed what I've had. Right, that's what what's for dessert now. Cup of tea, we want, we'd like a cup of tea. What's for dessert, Lee? Um, tea. Come at me. Protein thing. Come You're having a penguin each. <laughs> oh, nice. Pick up a penguin. Welcome to a new day. Um, these guys are having a treat morning. Morning. They are going in the uh, hot tub. Nick's going to be pressing the button, isn't he, for you? He is. Yeah, he's going to be it. jumping out. I'm yeah. pushing it on the first time when we get in, and that's my turn. <laughs> well, you're, you're at younger, sure, we have to get out. Well, <laughs> you've got to get out of the hot tub to press the button, and when it's cold, you, you, you obviously wet through and you're freezing. So I'm going to sit with my uh, dad and Uncle Brian and have a, a cuppa and then a chin wag. Talk about politics and um, it was dead. all it was the. Who died this week? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's your dad's favourite oh topic. <laughs> who, died, who died this week? Who's been at obituaries? <laughs> when he's going to die and what's going to happen when he's dead? <laughs> and then this afternoon, it'll be who died since this morning? <laughs> and then we're off into Beverly to try a new place, a Greek place called Greco. Uh, looking forward to that, aren't we? Brenda don't like yeah. it. Yeah! <laughs> Brenda don't, don't like anything on menu. No, there's chicken kebabs, which sounds yes, nice, and hummus. Sounds you like hummus now, don't you, after last night? 
She's, well, she's, she's she said it tasted like <laughs> salmon paste. It wasn't the greatest hummus, fair, though, was it? From it Lidl. Like, it did taste like sandwich spread. Yeah, Tesco's um, hummus is a lot better. Yeah, much okay. much nicer. Uh, so we're going to try that. It's called Greco. We've never been before. I think it's new um, in Beverly near Marks and Spencer's. One of our friends, Lisa, has been and she said it's well nice. So uh, we're, we're going to try that out today. Aren't chicken we? kebabs for me. Chicken kebabs, hummus, chicken kebabs. So you see pleptico, it all, chicken kebabs, pita, yeah. hummus, ha um, halloumi fries. They look amazing. We're going to try those as well. And then tonight we're having Epcot sweet corn. We didn't have it last night. Yeah, we never. We forgot to have it last night. We we're a bit full last night, though, weren't we? After all that. And if we're still hungry room. after all this famishing. <laughs> And if, and if we're still hungry, and we haven't heard from Taylor yet either, no, and no. if we are still hungry, we're going to do a, a, a charcuterie chicken board with um, seasoned fries tonight. We could always use that charcuterie board that Lisa gave us as a gift. Might as well. Could do. Everyone's just admiring the daffodils. They've all stood up again. So the last time I filmed them, it looked like they were dying, but they... They've uh, had a drink now. Yeah. They look healthier. This one were all flopping on the floor. Now it's proper stood up. Good. Right, so we went in the hot tub. Uh, when we came back, did I call the garage before we came when, when we went yeah. in? Oh. Um, so before we went in the hot tub, I actually called the garage to ask whether the hose had turned up for the radiator. And he said it had and it fitted it. And while we've just been driving to Beverly to go for our Greek meal, I've just got an alert from the tracker that we've put in. Um, I can't remember whether we, whether we explained it, but we paid for like a proper tracker with 12 month service on it. it gives you so much information like um, aggressive acceleration, uh, parking, driving steadily, uh, tells you every hundred yards how, how fast the van's going, keeps a track of it and a record of it. And we've got that basically hidden somewhere in Taylor and it transmits every four hours when it's stationary and every few seconds when it's motion. Um, anyway, she's on the move. So he's fitted the hose and he's took it for a drive. But when I spoke to him this morning, um, apart from telling me that it was going to be expensive, but I know that already, he said um, that He's going to take it for a test drive, which he just has done, and then he's asked us to keep it local for um, a while, a couple of days, and then take it back in to test that nothing's leaking from the sump or the coolant or anything like that. Well, he's asked us to drive it local. Yes, drive it locally. Well, test it locally. Yeah, drive it around. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, we've got um, some chores to do that we've not been able to do. We've got to take it for, refill the gas tank, because that's empty. We used all that when we were building it. And we're going to put some fuel in it and then take it for probably its final weighing, uh, just to see how much water we can carry, basically. So, um, I'm expecting a call any minute to say that Taylor is out of surgery. But we're going for lunch now. But we're going for lunch. So that's gonna. <laughs> if he brings me. I know what's gonna happen. I know. I know what's gonna, gonna happen. Call and you won't be able to think about I know, anything else. I know. But I've waited. It's over a week now that the, that the van has been in the garage, and this, and we've only seen it when we drove past. But um, as I said, I've just got an alert on my phone saying he's took it for a test drive down some country lanes. So fingers crossed. I mean, he's parked it outside. It's not back in the bay. So fingers crossed, it's fine and it just needs, it's just working out the bill and then I'll, I'll go and pick it up later on this afternoon. In other news, I've looked at the Greek menu and chosen what I want for my lunch. I'm not even hungry yet. Oh, I am. Halloumi fries. Oh, that sounds and, heavy. Pitters and hummus. That sounds nice. And a chicken skewer. That sounds nice as well. And we're sharing all that. Yeah. It's bad luck to have an umbrella up indoors. We've never been to Estabul though. So anybody that has been there, let us know. Is it as good as Shamas? It looks just like Shamas inside. It's a Brazilian, all you can eat, like meat and stuff. It's a chain restaurant and they've, they've got to be good because they've got our wine glasses on the table as well. Oh, exactly. Well, this well they've got to be good then if they've got the same wine glasses. That's why we got our wine glasses because Shamas used to have them. Yeah. For goodness sake, for already late. It's their fault though, right? <laughs> Always dawdling. Hurry up! I think it's gonna come this way. It's there. It's about to come out. No, that's mm. what I said. It's gonna go that way. You've already made us late. We've got about one minute to get this table booking. Well, what time is it? Uh, about four. three minutes till we eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having an apple, but Nick, it's not very Greek. I don't have chicken kebab <laughs> They decided they wanted to come here instead as we were walking past. She basically pulled me in the door. <laughs> so we've literally got my arm. We'll have to try the Greek restaurant another time. Yes. But we've come to Shamas. 
which is the same as the uh, other one, but just saying we've been here El, before. Estabulo. Yeah. Uh, no, we've not been here for a long time, so um, since well before COVID. Yes. Look at Master Brenda looking at the food menu. It's all you can eat. It's all, all right. It's all meat. <laughs> All, All meat, meat and real meat. She, you do look happier than the Greek. Yes, it's a little bit better than the olives. Um, olives. Perfected cheese. <laughs> Right, here we are for the um, salad bar, I must say. It looks amazing, the salad bar. Ooh, beetroot, all sorts of stuff. Bit of potato salad for you. Messing about, straight in there. This is how it starts here. You start off so nice. kind of healthy and then all the meats start coming. To be fair, all that's healthy. It's just, everything's mm. got flavour. Yeah. So you leave your card down as green if you want the meats to come. Then when you've had enough, you put it onto uh, red. Look at her card. Look at them all, all their cards. always be green. Garlic steak. I want to say everybody's silent. Mm. Brenda swap brines. She can get access to meats faster. <laughs> mm. We're just getting scraps now on this end of the table, aren't we, Brian? Yeah. yeah. Brenda's like a bloody um, like a meat herder. It, it drops on the table and she's like, "Have you first cut?" My mum can't keep up. I don't meat. Your mum's yeah. filling up on salad. That's the problem. No, but and meat stacking up like it's some like it's a <laughs> abattoir. The garlic bread here is amazing. We're still waiting for the uh, roasted pineapple, aren't we? Assuming they still do it. Mm. Nice. My word. Honey, honey pork. Honey It's very nice. Oh, the pineapple's coming oh, down. I'm oh. just going to turn this over, but I'm going to wait for a bit of pineapple. So if you do come to this place, it is um, between, it doesn't say on here, but it's on the board outside, between 17.95 and 21.95 for Monday to Friday lunch, and then evenings is 4 till 10, Sunday to Thursday, 32.95, 34.95, Friday to Saturday, which is quite expensive in an evening, but it is all you can eat, and then there's sort of children's and vegetarian and pescatarian options there, and then these are the meats that they serve on a lunchtime, and actually, to be fair, we've seen them actually serve a lot of this during the day as well, even on, on the dinner time and then the salad bar which you can see here and we filmed earlier so it's good. probably the best salad bar you'd yeah. ever have anywhere isn't it mm, right. right it's been with the pineapple so you probably think that this is going to be pineapple just with cinnamon it's the best thing when, so far but when you try it it is oh describe the taste it's almost like a dessert isn't it, it is, yeah. without i don't know why i mean the sugar comes from the pineapple but then the cinnamon have a try of it try that try the cinnamon pineapple where's the going to go with it Eh? What do you think it is? Well, it's wet egg and chips. <laughs> I'm just going to scoff this in. Mmm. Mmm, uh -huh. my God. It's the juice. So it's, it's, like a, it's almost like a pudding. Are you a fan? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. She's been sending meat back because it's not ready. It's not cooked enough. Everybody's just saying well done. Everybody's just said we're absolutely stuffed and that they can't eat anymore. And then he's brought the meat round and Brenda's like, she's, a, she's like a bloody vegetarian there. Look at her. I'm not going to eat all this myself. They've got worms. They've got worms. This is like the third time that he's been and they've said, no, we don't want anything. And then they, they fill in the plates. They're nice and warm now, these. Oh my God, I couldn't eat another thing if I tried. <laughs> you just said you were absolutely stuck. <laughs> honey pork's coming now. Yeah. Yeah. Only because you've asked for it. Are you ready some honey pork? Oh, I can't eat another thing. Not even a chip. No chance. Oh, no, I said no to honey pork. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All the mats have been on red for like 20 minutes. Everybody's I'm moaning about the stuff, and then every time it comes round, no everybody's tea. like, No tea for us now. Yeah, you said, now. you said that about an hour ago. You don't have to cook tonight. How can you just sit and eat like that? Oh, my God. Oh, I know it's nice. It's like a but, bone. Oh. Is that sweet? It's like a bone. Right, we finished in the restaurant and we've left them because we've had the call. Taylor is ready. Um, he said on the phone to me that she drives beautifully. She's got very light steering, uh, not steering, very light gear change now because of the clutch. The engine tick is gone because the apparently the drive belt was caked in coolant, um, which is why our friend Tim had actually thought it might be. Um, he said it were all gloopy and it had started to like crumble the rubber because it's quite corrosive um, stuff, this. So he said that she drives amazingly. He was actually quite enthusiastic about how, how great she drove. Um, he said that the knocking sound on the wheel, the suspension arm replacements fixed that. Um, the light bulb that came on, apparently a, a, a bulb had gone above the registration plate. Uh, he's changed that. The only thing we need to get sorted now is the aircon. He says he thinks the aircon's leaking. Um, 
so we'll take that to Halfords or ATS or something like that and they can pump nitrogen through it and you, you when you pump nitrogen through it when it comes in contact with air you see like like um, um, dry ice coming out of the pipes and then presumably they just seal it with solder or something like that and then repressurize the system with um, aircon fluid or whatever they use so that will be something that we do uh, later on this week and then he wants me to take it back again next week which is the week we're having the wrap we're taking it in on Tuesday night uh, he wants me to take it back for him to have a look to make sure that there's no sealants or anything leaking so we've got to use it a little bit over the weekend I know what you're going to suggest oh what I'm going and actually trying it yeah camping in it yeah so we have to have it back at the garage um, just for him to have a quick look make sure that there's no drips leaks or fluid leaks or anything like that and then it has to go in on Tuesday night and then the wrap starts on Wednesday and it'll be in for about five days and then when we get her back she's pretty much ready to go I can't really think about it a minute because I'm just I'm so, stuffed, so just, stuffed. I'm so stuffed on meat beautiful meat though you cannot fault that place for the quality I'm, of the food it's amazing I'm never eating again though it's never so good good morning guys welcome to the next morning I can confirm Taylor has returned to the lodge um, she's here um, it was very very expensive but it was our choice to have a lot of this stuff done which I'm going to go over the details now and we said on a previous vlog why it went in uh, it started off with the water pump was leaking and it was getting onto the drive belt and making it squeak when he had it to bits he saw that there's something had got behind the pulley for the oil pump and it turned it had ground the casing edge off and it wouldn't take a new seal so we had to have an oil pump as well while it was in bits I said, well, since you've got the gearbox out, because you had to take the gearbox out to get to the sump and so on and so on. You saw on Instagram the photos um, of what it looked like when we went to see her. So we got got it all back yesterday. He's had it for a week. So this is, these are all the bits that we've had put in it. And I'll tell you on each one of these which ones were uh, mandatory and which ones were optional. So there was a corroded earth cable, which was a bit green. So I just said change it. So we had that done as well. Uh, we had a new radiator because that was a bit battered. And he just said... You might as well have a new one if you're having it in bits. So we did that. We had to have a water hose to go with it. Um, because we had the gearbox out, we said, let's just change the clutch. Save on labour further down the line. And knowing that with the, the distance we're going to be going and some of these big hills, we want a clutch that's not going to slip or, or give way when we're on um, high elevations. So we had a three-piece clutch and a flywheel done. Um, when he did the drive belt last year, before it got coolant dumped on it, there was one pulley he couldn't get to without dismantling further. Anyway, he managed to get that off, so he's changed the pulley. Um, we've had the timing belt done and the water pump which is what it went in for uh, a wishbone whatever that is um, wishbone. The, yeah the drive belt had to be changed again because it was covered in coolant and it was a bit gloopy which we think is what was causing the this screeching sound um, oil filter and new engine oil which was quite expensive that was 72 quid just for the engine oil uh, the oil pump that was quite pricey that was 247 quid um, six litres of antifreed, four bulbs, consumables and labour. So it was um, in excess of three grand. So that's not something that we anticipated when we budgeted for this, but if we'd, any of those would have happened again afterwards, we'd have had to pay for the labour again to have it all dismantled. So we didn't, we didn't want to go down that line. So we just said, well, you've got it to bits, just do it. Anyway, it drives like butter now. The clutch is very light. There's no ticking or rattling sound in the engine. It can have a conversation. You can even whisper while you're driving now. Um, it's that quiet when you drive it. She's going in for a wrap on Wednesday. We're taking her down on Tuesday. Uh, today... We uh, oh one thing he did one thing he did say is that um, the aircon system has got a pinprick leak somewhere and the gas that we had put in last year has leaked out so we need to take it back to ATS get them to um, pump it with nitrogen and then you can see when the nitrogen becomes in contact with air it becomes dry ice and you get to see smoke coming out so we need to get that checked out either that or it's all leaked out when he's had the engine to bits but uh, we won't know until ATS or Halfords um, have a look at that can you make a bit more noise. I'm just well, can you knock? Um, what was I saying? We're off out for some gas. Oh, yeah, so we're going to go to... He said to give it a run over the weekend and then bring it back on Monday just to see whether there's any... Like the oil sump um, seal, make sure it's holding, make sure that there's no coolant leaking. He has took it out for a test drive and he said he couldn't see anything, but we're just going to drop it in on Monday. Uh, but today... Uh, one thing he did say, apart from the aircon, is that the leads that go from the battery under the seat are a very bad design on the VW Crafter because the, the metal cables that go into the mini fuse box at the side of the battery can potentially rub on the bottom of the seat and it's quite a sharp edge. 
So he said um, what he would do was he would just put a single 70 mil cable in, which I do have left from when we did all the electrics and pull that fuse box and put it under the seat somewhere. So we're gonna do that later on today. Um, it's a relatively easy job and I've got, um, I've got the bits and bats to do it. I've got new battery terminal clips. I've got the cables um, just to run it under the seat and get that fuse box and all those cables that are packed in out of the way. So the only thing that will go through that, that gully now will be a single 70 mil cable and there'll be space above it for it to breathe. So we're gonna do that when we get back. But the first job, we're gonna go to uh, Driffield to an auto gas place and we're gonna refill the gas tank. Uh, and then we're gonna come back here and then do that work. And then we're gonna, what do we have to do then? We have to get his list out because there's all sorts of stuff on it. And then tonight we're going out with our friend Sheila. The folks are still here, they've just gone out to Scarborough. Yeah, they've buggered off that day. So um, we have got a list on Google Keep of all the things that are still left to do on the van. So we'll try and get the battery wiring done, which was not on the list. Um, put the bits and bats that we've been collating in the lodge into the van, get it stowed away. We've got the Euro adapters for the gas fitters. Gas fittings, they can go in the van. Um, there's a gas, there's a, an airbag light on from when we um, took the seat out and reconnected the little cable that says that the airbag system is intact. So I need to try to somehow clear that, which will, it's not a massive problem. Airbags probably don't work anyway. Um, oh, I would like to see the wood. Well, we'll have to have a look when we're in there. But um, the garage did say if we can't clear it, he'll do it for us. So I've, I've, I've put the code reader on it and there's a load of codes on it. The code reader that I got from Timmy it had a load of codes from when he was putting it back together which have all been cleared. There's no there's no service light on the dash, it's just an airbag light. So I'll try and clear that. Uh, hopefully when we disconnect the battery to move the cable, it will clear it anyway. What else? Am I driving? No. I wanna drive? No, 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 no. <laughs> you can drive back. Okay, I'll drive back. But I wanna drive it there, just to Looking forward feel to it. the distance. It's, it must be a month since, in fact, it's, it's, be it's before, before Christmas. Christmas that I've drove the van. Yeah. And I do love driving it. Yeah. So um, she's back. The folks have gone out to Scarborough. We've said all and, this. Um, let's go and start as jobs. Right then, come on. Hi, Taylor. Don't you wish we were just heading off somewhere for a couple of nights? <laughs> no, not yet. Why? I want the van ready before we go off in this say. dirty green mess. That used to be one of our favourite little cafes and um, it's closed. Looks like it's turned into a house or something. Well, it's probably closed because every time we went, she would never open. Yeah. So people got fed up with thinking, well, I'll go for something to eat and then get in well, there and it would never open. We loved to go when it was open, didn't we? Yeah, but um, she just used to close randomly. So, so um, it's very nice and quiet in Taylor at the moment. 20, 19 minutes to go to get some um, LPG gas. <laughs> and then we're not going to use it until after the, it's, it's been wrapped, full fuel, and then go for its final weigh in. I think we drove, drove past this the other day, but look at it again. That's not actually a lake, or it, it's just um, rain, rainwater, flood water. That's crazy. Right, here we are. So we do have one that maybe a, a bit closer to the lodge, but we wanted to give uh, Taylor a run. And as you can see at the bottom there, it says LPG. And this is where we filled up before. Is on the left. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. <laughs> um, right, is it this it's one here? this here, isn't oh, it's it, I think? One, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so where's the pump? What do you mean? There. Oh, it's on the back of the van, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, you're going to have to turn around. Right, OK. Right. I never enjoy filling the LPG no, up. Do it. Oh, wait a minute. Like that. Knowing that it's gas. Don't like messing right. with gas. Push that button, you've got to hold it in, haven't you? Right. So you might have to turn it on in there. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah. There we go. And it'll knock them out. 
You need to. Well, it's filling, it seems to be filling. So you've got to hold this down. How many litres have gone in so far? Four. How many, did, how many does it take? Six. Six now. Should I stop it? Maybe it's seven. No, no, stop it. Well, it's gone past it. Oh, that's it. Stopped at 7.26 <laughs> litres. Nice. Friggin' hell. <laughs> you hate that. Yeah. So that costs £7.47 to um, fill that. Right, get yourself in and pay. So we're just looking up the weight of LPG. One litre of LPG is... Half a kilogram. Half a kilogram. So we've just put seven litres in, so we've just put three and a half kilograms there about. So we know that three and a half kilos of, um, for a full tank is basically three and a half kilos. Now yeah. it's a 75 litre tank of diesel, and diesel weighs 0 0.8 um, kilos per litre. So I think it's about 60 kilos for a full tank, something like that. We need to work it out. Yeah. Uh, we're very close to a farm shop, so we're just going to call it because they've got a cafe, so why not? So um, we've got to get used to like parking Taylor in different places, so uh, <laughs> that's an, yeah, a good we're excuse. We've avoided the town. <laughs> We're not doing it, but Nick just says we could always get some bacon and eggs and do it in back of that. <laughs> just failed to find gas and got the facility to do it. But I want to do that when we're definitely on his way. I want the first time to be like in the morning when we've had a night somewhere. Oh, that were a bit of quiche you brought back then. Are you wishing it were a quiche? Oh. It's a very strange flapjack. flapjack. It's like seeds, pumpkin seeds. It's very mm. sticky and treacly as well. Look at the cranberries in there. Mm. Right, we're back and I'm in the van. So all these wires here, the garage said that the underneath of that is quite sharp and it will eventually would erode these wires and possibly create a fire. So I'm pulling all this back through and I'm going to put it in the right side of this seat here. So um, not really much to vlog other than pull the wires through and tighten them up and I've got a new 70mm cable to bring to the terminal under here. Back at boys looking for uh, screws and stuff. So we've got these bolts which are too long. So I need to get a nice, nice um, a nice uh, selection of them here. They look a bit thick to me. They're also too long as well. Mm -hmm. I need shorter. Right, so we got this from eBay. Um, a, it was pretty cheap, it was. It's not the greatest quality. Uh, just a little bit of carpet for the cab, so we just thought we'd try it. It's great sh for cutting out a shape. For when we want a better one, you mean? Yeah. Because, I mean, with it being black, it's probably going to get filthy pretty quickly, but... I mean, it looks ridiculous. What do you mean? Because it's black and everything no, else is No, gray. not really, because it goes with the, the black. Well, black. I suppose. Not bad. No, it's not I mean, as bad as I thought, actually. Chips, well, no, actually, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look. And if been, it just needs a good hoover. It's been flat for a week. Yeah, we'll just leave it in here for now. it's still not. Um, yeah, but I don't want the guys who are wrapping it to put muddy feet on mm, it. Well, yeah. So... Perfect well, fit though. It's, well, it, at least we've got a silhouette. We yeah, I like that. Yeah. Right, it's a, a couple of hours later. These are all back. Oh. And we're off out. Bye! For a meal Bye. with some friends. <laughs> this lot were invited, but they said no. Miserable swine. We've, <laughs> we've been out all day. We've been out well, all day. Well, I ain't going anywhere because I can't find my wallet. <laughs> it's all right, I'm paying. Oh. I'll still leave my wallet. As usual. Oh. So we're going to a new place we've never been before um, with some friends. You're yeah. Oh, <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> As if we can get ready right now. Uh, what are you lot having for food then? Uh, we're we're going to cook, cook, cook some of Cook some of And you bought some stand pie? No. no, no, no. no. We're going to surprise us these ladies. We haven't brought anything. Only milk. We've brought Just milk. a sandwich. We, we haven't had anything to eat since down. this morning. Yeah, you should be cutting down after, after, we, after what we ate yesterday. We should be cutting down and all. Well, <laughs> it's just nice, isn't it, to go out with some friends and. Um, I think it's like English food, like really nice English food, like yolk right, puddings nice and steak food. pies. Salad for me. Like you would have loved, you'd have loved it tonight. Now I've lost my shoddy shoes. Who keeps moving me stuff? Just have yeah, 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 no. right some beef turnovers. And what was that other? There's some beans and toast in cupboard. Is that there? Oh, well, that'll do it for us. Right, that'll yeah. do it for us. Right. It's an hour or two later. What time is it? How long have we been in there? Half past nine. 
Um, two hours. Two hours we've been in I there. Know, it's 20 to 10 actually. Um, so I just did a little bit of vlogging in there. We were, so were busy chatting and having a catch up. Um, we had some fish cakes and garlic mushrooms. The food was very nice actually in there. And then I had um, mushroom stroganoff and Nick had a salmon. Freaking massive salmon. Yeah, it was massive. It was like proper. Um, just proper pub, pub food, food, wasn't it? Like but, proper but English not, pub food. But not greasy pub food, it no, was like it sausage was cool. and mash. It was really nice actually. It was like a traditional English restaurant. Yeah, so I had a nice catch up with our friend Sheila and our fr other friends. Um, so that was nice. So um, we're heading home now and um, go to bed. What time is it? We'll see if the, um, to 10. the old folks are in bed. And uh, then we shall see you guys in the next vlog where We'll see if I can convince Nick to go away for a couple of nights in the van. Well, it depends whether we've got things finished. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'd just go. Now, just go and try it. And uh, we've got to start testing things, making sure the toilet's working. I know. Um, the, the shower. I mean, we've tried the shower, but we've just got to start trying things. You need to do it in the on field. On the road, exactly, in the field. Um, Not the field. No. Like, on the road. On the road. Yeah. So we'll see how uh, tomorrow goes. We do have touch-ups to do paint and stuff. But as Nick said earlier, we could just take a paint pot with us. And then when we're parked up somewhere, just crack on with us jobs in, inside. Um, so we'll see on the next vlog. So uh, thank you for watching us today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, and drop us a comment below. We read all your comments. Uh, we would love to know if you guys have got vans and where you go in the UK, uh, where you stay, what apps you use, um, if you've got any pointers or tips, anything that we may have forgot that we, we need, which is why we need to test it, because I'm sure when we're out on the road, we'll be like, oh yeah, we, we need, need one dealer, of these. We need this, we need, we need that. that. This is why we need to go before we go on for a big trip and just start having nights and away so we can um you know try it and see what we need so uh, do let us know in the comments below and we shall see you on the next vlog bye for now